West Ham fan team, you're still outside the London Stadium. Dom, Dom, before I say, take your hat off, mate. Show us your hat. No. no, come on, we want to see it. You've been pointing it away. Let's have a look at the bar on it. He's gone for it. Look at that, look at that. Fuck it. Hell, put his hat back on. Um, Dom, 1 0 loss tonight, mate, but was you expecting anything different? Nah, man. It's... If, it, if, it game, if it game defines dead rubber, that's it, isn't it? Um, it, it don't matter, does it? Really, it don't matter. Like you know, it was it was a reserve match, effectively. I mean, I'm glad the kids got to go. Yeah. That's going to mean a lot to them tonight. Um, you know, like what else can I say? Really, like I did, I did, you know, like, like one nil loss with reserve team. Ain't, you know, it, it could have been a lot worse, like in hindsight. But you know, it's just just good for the kids to play. Really, there's not much really to say about nah. it. I mean, I think I heard four now. I didn't, you know, to be honest with you, like. It was hard to watch, really. You just like sort around chatting to people. I didn't even notice. It. I heard Fournals went off injured, which is a big blow, and it just shows you shouldn't really have played him in that game. But hopefully, he ain't out for too long. But, um, no, man. Like, like I say, like we we've done well to have the luxury of playing this game, playing the team we did tonight. Because you know we've we've had a great campaign in the group, and now we can just prepare ourselves for the next round. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sum it up the group stages. I mean, what do you mean? I mean, we've had some really impressive performances home and away in this group. I mean, and as you said, we qualified with two games to go, won the group with a game to go, and tonight was, as you said, dead brother, nothing to play for. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, when the draw was made, um, well, we, even before the draw was made, I was just saying, look, I'll, I'll take just getting out of the group, scraping second place, and, you know, just, if we could get out of the group, that would be a great achievement. To win it with a game to go and, you know, go straight into the last 16. You know, we've exceeded expectations massively. Um, I thought, that, to be honest with you, I thought when the draw was made, I thought for a pot, I think we were pot, um, sorry. <laughs> a pot three team, weren't we? Um, <laughs> say it, don't spray it. I think we were a pot three side, weren't we? Yeah. And uh, for a pot three side, we actually got a decent, like, winnable group. And, you know, we have won it in the end. These three teams in, the, in, in our group, they're no mugs. They've had more European uh, football experience than we have. Um, First game, obviously, like away at Zagreb back in September, we went out there and you know we schooled them. We schooled Genk and Vienna at home, and uh, obviously, like to beat Vienna a couple of weeks ago to have the group sewn up for the final game, especially with the amount of games we've got coming up, was so crucial. Which is why you know I'm glad we played what we did tonight. I mean, you know, like who cares if it's a defeat? Like you know, like it's not gonna it's not gonna affect us. We're through as group winners. Fringe players got a game. You know, players like Vlasic again, like he's still not getting there, is he? But you know, it's important for him to get game time, same as Yarmolenko. And like I said, I mean, regardless of this, like those those youngsters that played tonight, it's going to mean the world to them, isn't it? So. We obviously miss the next round now, and we go through to the last 16. I mean, some big names dropping into it now. You excited? You excited for that last 16? Yeah, to be honest, with you mate, like I'll be excited if we can go. You know, like at the moment, the world, like it's it's it's, it's Everything's up in the air again, isn't it? And it's, it's it's not great, but hopefully by the time it rolls around, everything's like okay, and we could uh, <laughs> everything's okay, and we could uh, just like enjoy ourselves. But like you say, there's some big teams. Seville dropping in. To be honest with you, Seville worry me more than Dortmund and Barcelona because they're the fucking kings of the Europa League. Well, not only that, the finals in Seville, so yeah, they want to be. I don't, I don't think they? it's their stadium. I think it's Betis's stadium, but you know, it's their city. So it'll be a home city essentially, but um, no nah, man, like you know, like we've done incredible to win the group with a game to spare. And, you know, we could just like sit back, relax, watch the playoff round, and just like rub our hands together and to be like you know, like we, we could beat anyone in this competition. Yeah. We get you know, obviously not tonight, but at full, <laughs> at full strength, you know, like we we, we, we could beat anyone. But no nah, man, let's just you know, like this game was always going to be dead rubber. It's done now. Who cares? Like you know, get 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 on a Sunday. Big game, let you get some free points. Then there's that showdown with Arsenal on Wednesday night. That's a big, big game. That's probably our biggest game of the season. And then just get through the Christmas period and we've got to sign some players yeah. and uh, hopefully crack on what's, what's a good season. Dom, listen, mate, as always, good to see you. And I'll see you on Sunday, mate, up at Burnley.